Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. Today we will show you all the best places to get metal on the Crystal Isles map. As always, I will give you GPS coordinates and map locations for all of the metal nodes I show you. Now you can find some scattered metal deposits all over the map, so I won't bother showing you a lot of the low concentrations of metal. But this guide will show you the safest and most concentrated metal locations in the entire Crystal Isles map. I will also show you some super easy and safe places to get metal metal in the safe starting area, but we'll breeze through those because I have an entire guide on just that and I'll give you a link in the description of this video. Now this guide will help you find the best places to harvest metal in lots of regions all over the map, but I will also show you some epic locations to build a full metal base where you can gather all the metal you need very quickly and easily. And if you're in a hurry, you can skip right to the metal locations near your home base if you use the chapters in the video progress bar or link links in the description of this video. I will also show you some incredible metal locations that will also have lots of obsidian and crystal. If this video helps you, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so they can find the best metal locations too, and be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell for all notifications because we have lots more Crystal Isles guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays coming your way and you won't want to miss any of those. So let's get started. So I'll start this guide by showing you the absolute easiest and safest places to get metal, but I have an entire guide that shows you this whole White Shoals area and every good metal location in that area, so definitely check that out. I'll put a link in the description and probably on the top right hand side of the screen. And that's a much more in-depth guide giving you a lot of other metal locations in the White Shoals where you can harvest tons of metal without having anything bothering you at all. Now these metal nodes nodes are pretty plentiful, they're all over this whole map, but they are pretty spread out, so it's not going to be your highest concentration of metal. We'll show you some of the absolute most concentrated and best metal locations all over the Crystal Isles map really soon, but I did just want to give you guys a quick rundown on some of my favorite spots to get metal in the White Shoals, because these are so safe and easy. You're probably not even going to run into anything as dangerous as a raptor out here, and if you build a raft and put an Kylosaur on it, drop a couple forges on it, you can easily transport it from place to place and get tons of metal just from moving around these few little islands right down here in the southwest corner of the map. So if that's your preference, definitely go for that, but we'll show you some much, much faster ways to get metal as long as you can deal with some slightly more dangerous dinos. But once again, if you like these areas that are super easy and safe to gather tons of metal, check out that entire guide on all of the easiest metal locations in the Crystal Isles map. But now we'll move on to some of the locations with the highest concentrations of metal. Now this first metal location is really good. It's up here in the Copper Peaks, and as you can see, all the trees around here are a nice copper color, and that's going to be helping you find out where all the metal is. Now you'll see these waterfalls down here from the very highest peak in this region. They flow all the way down this river, almost out to the desert area. And uh, right here, where it comes out from the mountain, is an amazing metal location. So we're going to zoom in a little bit, and uh, as you can see, there are lots of tyrannosaurs around here, so be prepared for a fight if you come over here. We also have quite a few dodicarus and ankylosaurs that spawn right around here, and we've got some obsidian nodes. There's going to be some dangerous stuff out here, but uh, as long as you can survive that, this location is amazing. So we've got quite a few copper metal nodes around here. These are all rich metal, and uh, copper nodes actually have a lot more metal in them than other nodes. There's also some obsidian down at the very bottom of the river here. But uh, as we keep going south a little bit down this river, we just keep running into more and more metal. We've got quite a bit of obsidian up here near the mountains. So if you're looking for obsidian too, this is a great spot to get a little bit of obsidian. But down here is where it really gets good. So all these metal clusters are right around these shores of this river, which makes it very easy if you have a forge on a raft. You can just transport an ankylosaur up and down the river, as long as you can fend off the T-Rexes. But this is where it really gets crazy. 
just about every other rock here is metal and there's tons of these copper nodes so each of those is going to get you stupid amounts of metal so basically if you just go up and down this section of river here and especially if you can park your base somewhere safe you can just get so much metal it's ridiculous so this is the spot that has the most concentrated metal over here another nice thing about this is ankylosaurs actually go faster in the water than they do on land they don't look like they should even be able to swim but believe it or not, they're very fast swimmers. Now, if that's not enough metal for you right in this spot, if we follow the river a little bit further south, we're going to run into some more copper metal deposits. And as we start to get into this more savanna area, we're actually going to run into a lot more metal. There's some underneath the river. And uh, once again, more T-Rexes. you got to be prepared for a serious fight out here. But that little hill back there actually has some decent metal in it. Unfortunately, there are waterfalls blocking your route to the ocean both ways, but there's a lot of these little hills that have lots of metal on top of them. So here's another decent spot that's got quite a bit of metal spawns. And then this plateau over here is actually covered in tons of metal too. So basically any of these spots along this river are going to get you so much metal. Now be real careful of this one. There's a ton of saber tooth inside that mountain and there's a similar one nearby that's full of wolves so you know be prepared for that if you come out here there's gonna be a lot of nasty stuff to deal with so this is probably the highest concentration of metal in the entire Crystal Isles map and I highly recommend checking this out if you want to just have stupid amounts of metal Now this next metal location is going to be really good for anybody who started out in the White Shoals area, which is kind of in the southwest side of the map. It's this beach zone. It's a pretty darn safe place to start. And there's actually a lot of metal there. But if you want to get a really amazing metal production facility, you can follow this river all the way around these plateaus. And it actually has a nice little bay area. And this water in here has a pretty good access points to all over the map. But unfortunately, you do have a lot of whales you'll run into in the deeper waters, so I usually see a whale around this island right here. But in order to avoid those, you need to park your raft in shallow water, and there's actually a couple of beaches that are pretty good, safer spots to park a raft. And uh, even spots over here, you can get a raft into super shallow water where it will be safe from any whale attacks. Now this spot has tons and tons of metal, and there's actually some great places to build a base so you can have a metal production facility. And uh, you can easily ship it via water as long as you can deal with the whales. But right here, here is where you're going to start running into tons of metal. It's got a nice sloping access point to the beach. And check this out, we've got metal nodes all along this little canyon over here. And this keeps going up the hill. And there's probably about 10 metal nodes down here. But if we keep going up the hill further, there's even more metal here. And now we are actually at the mouth of the crystal cave, which is just full of stupid amounts of crystal. And then a little further up this hill, there's actually quite a few more metal nodes up in this area. And this plateau up here actually has a nice little covered area. You could even put a base up up here if you don't mind blocking off some metal spots but there's another great base location right by here but uh, there's a lot of crystal growing around here too so you'll get lots of crystal from any of these small colored crystal spots and uh, up here we've even got more metal up along this plateau and once we get up to this side, there's actually some really good spots we could build a metal production base. So on this corner, you could block off just one little section of this, and uh, you got a pretty good spot to put a base right over here. But if we go underneath this overhang, there's actually a place where we could put like two foundations wide, just one big dinosaur gateway right on this spot right here. And that actually blocks off this entire section and uh, just a couple foundations wide, block that off, and you've got this entire little plateau which you could use for building a nice little metal production base. And this is actually right above a nice hill. You can toss all your metal down off the edge of the cliff down to a raft waiting below. So this is actually one of my top recommendations for putting together a metal production facility on an easier spot on the map which you can access from water very easily. 
Also, if you head further up that hill into that cave, it is completely full of crystal, like more crystal than you'll ever be able to use, which, you know, there's a lot of crystal around the Crystal Isles map, of course, but uh, there's an artifact in here, so I don't necessarily recommend putting a base inside the cave, but if you're playing solo, you could totally do that. And uh, there's actually quite a bit of metal inside this cave, too, and a lot of big spaces to build. So definitely, if you're playing solo, this is a pretty good spot to get lots of metal too. But keep in mind if you're playing multiplayer you do not want to block the route to an artifact so be real careful building in here. Now a lot of you will probably end up living in the floating islands up here in the sky, and uh, there's actually some amazing metal locations up here in the floating islands too. Now uh, I actually showed you guys a spawn zone tour of the Crystal Isles map, and this is about the location you can spawn in if you keep spawning in the east zone over and over until you get lucky and end up spawning up in the sky. But another great thing about this location is if you are very careful to find this spot right here there's actually quite a bit of metal and this is the entrance to the caves underneath the floating islands so if we head into this cave we're just going to keep seeing more and more metal nodes all over the place and I'll pull out a torch so you can see a little better this place is littered with metal and crystal all over the place but it just keeps on going like you've got all these metal nodes and just about every few feet you've got another set of metal and it's just all over these caves also, if we head down a little bit further, there's even more metal on down on the underside too. But I mean, as you can see, we've already passed like 30 metal nodes just here on the upper shelf. And this whole area just keeps going back forever. So if I head down further, we're still seeing tons of metal all around this area too. And this underside actually has an entrance. It's a lot easier to find uh, if you're nowhere to look for it. But check out all the metal down here. There's just piles and piles of metal all over the place. And you can't really see it when you're heading over to it. So I'll show you guys where to get to it from the underside. But uh, this is actually probably my biggest recommendation for where to get the largest amount of metal. If you've got a flyer that can take an ankylosaur down here, and uh, if you're right here on the map, you can barely see that cave behind all these vines hanging down. But uh, definitely highly recommend checking out this metal location if you're living up in the floating islands. And we actually have another great metal location that I'll show you next in case you're living in my favorite cave up here in the floating islands. So we are here in the floating islands on the biggest section of island, which is right where these huge orange crystals are coming out of the mountain. You got these massive waterfalls that flow down into a pool, which has actually got a lot of rich metal nodes underwater. Now, I don't think those are gonna be the easiest to get to, but I thought I'd show you they were there. This is actually my favorite base location in all of the Crystal Isles map. There's a secret cave inside this waterfall. And if we look down, we're gonna see these orange crystals there on the left-hand side. They're right above this little flat plateau right here. And if we head straight into the gap next to those crystals, we're gonna pass through the vines, through the waterfall, and into my favorite cave in the entire Crystal Isles map. And there's actually a lot of metal right inside this cave too. There's actually some pearl deposits down below the waterfall in here. There's a lot of really good stuff you can find. Quite a bit of crystal too. But uh, this spot is going to be amazing for a huge tribe. You can live in here very happily. You've got all the resources you need and it just goes on forever. But uh, right here in the corner there's a pretty decent amount of metal right down there and uh, you've actually got a really big rich metal node. That thing is actually huge so you should be able to get a ton of metal and a lot of these little metal nodes up here on the hill are going to get you lots of metal here too. So that's a pretty great metal location as it is. There's actually several other spots back here that have even more metal back in this cave but uh, here's the location of this spot right here. 
Now as we go back further, we're going to be able to find even more metal, and basically everywhere you go, if you find a shaft of light coming down, that's oftentimes going to have metal right where it is. It's a little hard to find stuff in here because you do get lost pretty easily in these caves, but uh, this rock down here is actually metal nodes. Uh, if you get close enough to just about any of these big boulders, a lot of them are actually full of metal. So down here in the basement area, there's you know quite a few metal nodes on this side too and all over the corners just about every corner of this section of the map you're gonna find even more metal so here's a ramp that'll take us back to the top here and this is actually attached to those caves I was showing you just before this section it's really hard to find it from the other side so once you know where you're going you can grab all the metal I just showed you from that last location and bring it in here too and I won't show you all the metal nodes because there are so many in this underground cave as long as you keep exploring you'll find so much metal it's not even funny Now another amazing metal location in the Crystal Isles is actually one of the best places to get obsidian in the entire map too. And uh, this spot right here is up on the top of the jungle plateaus and there's lots of obsidian all over the place up on these plateaus. But there's actually some really good metal deposits here on these upper hills and if we keep following all the way up the mountain there's quite a few really good metal deposits and there's actually some water up here so you can make a pretty nice base, have a good metal and obsidian gathering facility and as long as you can deal with some light dangerous stuff like carnotaurs things like that you should be in pretty good shape living up here and gathering all the metal and if you build up in this section over here you can uh, have pretty good access to the metal good access to water without really having to have too much dangerous stuff eating you all the time but I do recommend using a flyer to get up here because it's a kind of dangerous and long journey taking all the winding paths to get up to this section Now if you like living in the redwoods, there's a really awesome spot right where all of the rivers come together. So you can spot it pretty easily from the air, but here's the location anyway. And if you head right to the center where all three rivers combine, there's actually a lot of plant species X that grows down here and uh, got a lot of beavers and beaver dams, but right here at the base of this waterfall and this river has a lot of metal. So there's quite a few metal spawns right down here. Decent amount of them are rich metal nodes. But the really great thing is when we get to the waterfall, there's a lot more metal at the base, and on top is an even higher concentration of metal deposits right there. And another great thing about this area is there's a huge plateau just over here, and it's basically attached to this section. So if you're a good-sized alpha tribe and you want to rule over a huge plateau in the redwoods, you can actually block off this section over here pretty well. There's only about three locations that actually have access to this plateau. Plateau. And you can live there quite happily with your own massive rich metal supply right next door. Now I thought I'd show you this location because even though I once thought this was an amazing place to get tons of metal, it's actually a lot less convenient than most of the really good metal locations I'll show you. But there is this trench that goes down between these mountains. It's actually pretty close to that spot I showed you in the Red Hills. But uh, if you go down into this trench, it is completely lined with metal and quite a bit of obsidian too. The problem is it doesn't really have a good way in or out of this area. So you're basically going to need an Argent Avis with an Ankylosaur to be able to carry it down into here and harvest all this metal. You could always put a base on one of the ends of this tunnel, but uh, you know, things nasty things might drop down onto you while you're gathering things and it might be a little bit difficult, but uh, a lot of the ends of this tunnel have tons of metal just piled up. So it is a super concentrated place to get metal, but it's not super convenient to carry it back to wherever you end up building your metal gathering base. So I don't really recommend this area, but uh, it is actually a great spot if you're into that kind of thing. So definitely feel free to check that out if you want to. And there's a lot of little piles of metal up on these hills too. So it's definitely a great thing if you've got an Argent and an Anki and you want to just fly around and pick up some metal here and there. And some of these mountaintops would make great sky base locations. So if you're into that kind of thing, this is definitely a place to check out. 
Now this metal location is one that I've seen a lot of YouTubers recommend for the Crystal Isles, but I actually recommend you avoid this location unless you're a big tribe with a lot of tough dinos because this is the Griffin Trench and it is full of really nasty griffins all over the place. So if you come in here to get metal, you're going to find a lot of metal down on the bottom of this canyon, but you are going to have to fight off so many nasty griffins in order to get it that I don't really think it's even worth the trouble. So we'll just breeze through this really quickly because I think almost all of my other metal locations are much better than this one, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway just to be thorough because some people enjoy a very intense but very rewarding challenge, and uh, if you're into that kind of thing, this will be a great place for you. Speaking of intense challenges, we are here in the Eldritch Isle, which is a really intense lightning zone. There's all these crazy element crystals and all this electricity and floating water bubbles. But at the very bottom of this mountain, we've got all of these snowy rocks all over the place. And believe it or not, almost all of these are actually metal nodes. So uh, if you come down here, you've got piles and piles of metal all over the place down here. And some of these water bubbles you can actually Actually swim into and get black pearls too so it's a great place to grab resources but there is a lot of dangerous stuff around here so you'll have to be real careful and prepared for a fight there's also an artifact down here so I wouldn't recommend building here but uh, there's a location in case you want to give it a try Well, that was all of my favorite metal locations in the Crystal Isles map. I'm sure there's some other good places to get metal, so please feel free to drop a comment if you know of some awesome metal locations too. I'd also love to hear if anybody builds a base near one of these metal locations that I showed you and how that goes for you on your Crystal Isles adventures. And I sure hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends so it can help them, and make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of really helpful Crystal Isles map tours, resource location guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays coming your way, and you're not going to want to miss out on any of that. So until next time, I hope your Crystal Isles adventures are lots of fun, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. That helps us so much. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of awesome new Ark videos and live streams coming soon and you won't want to miss any of them. You can do so many awesome things in Ark, but it is really hard to figure out on your own. Check out the links at the end of this video to browse our huge library of fun, clean, and helpful ARC guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays. If you would like to earn awesome rewards while supporting this channel, click the join button or link next to the subscribe button to learn more about our new channel memberships. You can also join our awesome Discord community at the link in the description of this video or on top of the channel homepage. And if you want to see my wife and I play lots of other fun video games together, visit our other YouTube channel, The Console Co-op Couple, using the link in the video description or in the channel homepage. And now I want to give a shout out to some of the biggest supporters of this channel. Sabo0283, Cole Parmenter, Wolf Girl Be Like, Austin Nagel, Kelly Razjak, Black Silver Ride, and Emmy Fisher. You guys are all awesome and we so appreciate your support. Now if you'd like to be a monthly supporter and get a shout out at the end of our videos, check out the join button next to the subscribe button for more information about that. And for everyone else, thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.